How's it going everyone? JakeXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. I've been looking forward to doing this video for almost two days now, which doesn't sound like very long, but it's exciting. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new car which has just been added, which is the Ford Mustang, the RTR spec version, which can be upgraded to something stupid like 1870 horsepower or something. I've got quite a lot of feelings that this is possibly one of the newest, fastest accelerating cars in the game and today I want to find that out. I know for a fact it's not the highest top speed car in the game, however acceleration wise it just might be. So in this video we're going to be doing a series of tests and we're going to put it up against the other fast accelerating cars such as the McLaren F1 GT and we'll see if this wins or not. I'm just gonna pop the color back to standard since the only reason it was blue chrome is because it looks quite pretty in thumbnails. Right, to test this out, I think we're going to do drag races or at least a couple of them because obviously drag racing is all based upon accelerating. It doesn't really have much to do with top speed which this car doesn't have a massive one. It's got 270 miles an hour but it doesn't do 300 plus. So we're gonna kit this car out to be a drag car. And we're just going to have an all-round play in this car because it is so unbelievably fast. So we need to pop the engine swap in it, which gives it a 1,000 horsepower. I'm going to pop it up to all-wheel drive just for the time being. We'll pop it back down later. But everything else, just going to be fully upgraded with lots of drag spec type things. There we are, 1,876 horsepower, 1,378 kilograms, which is quite light to be honest it's oh my god that acceleration off the line is mental <laughs> oh it's so much fun and along with that it sounds awesome as well it's actually got a nice sound right let's pop it up on the line to see what kind of launch we can get there we are right here we go let's do a nice little launch control Unbelievable, 197 miles an hour at that speed trap. And I wasn't even shifting properly, that's impressive. Right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a drag race now, see what time we can get. I'm gonna jump in the F1 GT and see what time we can get there. Let me just go flat out, see what time we can get. Oh my God, we absolutely smashed those. I don't, I don't know what that would be, maybe seven seconds? 7.6, very impressive. I bet this could pull low sevens with a proper, proper drag tune that's a bit better than mine. I bet I, could, I, bet I can do better than that, actually. Here we go, see if I can beat it. That was a much better launch, that was. Is that gonna beat 7.6, though? 7.4 oh okay we'll leave that as a benchmark this ford mustang um quarter mile can do about 7.4 seconds now it's time to try out the f1 gt so the f1 gt which is probably one of if not the fastest uh accelerating car in the game 967 kilograms and 1400 horsepower so the mustang has 400 extra horsepower but it also weighs 400 extra kilograms. It's uh, going to be close. It's going to be close. Right, my prediction is I think the F1 GT is possibly going to be faster, but that still doesn't mean that the Mustang's a stupidly fast accelerating car, but at least we can debunk it from being the fastest. Here we go. Same type of tune as the one I've just made. I'm still using manual with the clutch, so it's going to be fair. Let's have a look, shall we? Yeah, I think that's faster. I think that's going to be low sevens. Seven, seven point seven, really? The Mustang was faster. What? The Mustang did a seven point four. That just did a seven point seven. That's quite a big difference. The F1 GT got up to over two hundred miles an hour, but the Mustang only managed one hundred and ninety something. Maybe the Mustang just has a really, really impressive amount of grip. 
I'm going to try it again, but I'm going to use the full of first gear, because first gear actually does 100 miles an hour, which I didn't notice. Right, here we go, second try with the F1 GT. I'm genuinely surprised that that was not faster. Here we go. Right, I used the full first gear, then into third gear, fourth. We do have to have an extra gear change in the F1 GT. What has that done? 7.8. Wow. I kind of want to jump back in the Mustang now, just to see if I can get better than 7.4. That's incredible. I mean, most of you could say both of them are badly drag-tuned, but if they're both badly drag-tuned, imagine if they're both goodly drag-tuned. Please, guys, jump in this Mustang if you've got it, and if you're a good drag person, put your best drag tune on it that you can find, and see if you can get into the high sixes. I bet you could. Right, here we go. Start, start race event. Oh, I nearly did 200 miles an hour then. That's got to be a record. 7.5. Okay, maybe not. You know, I'm going to sort of come to the conclusion that it's definitely one of the fastest cars in the game, acceleration-wise. I'm pretty sure the F1 GT will accelerate faster from, let's say, 150 miles an hour to 200 miles an hour. I think the F1 GT will still be faster. But off the line, this thing grips so well in first gear, up to 100 miles an hour in seconds. This is definitely up there with one of the fastest cars in the game, easily. Right, I'm trying to, oh, no, oh, I'm trying to take it to this old lady's house. I'm trying to take this to the uh, motorway, so I can time the 0 to 60, 0 to 100, 0 to 120, 0 to 150, just out of curiosity. Of course, I don't know what the time's going to be until I finish editing the video, but we'll still, I'll still see them. Okay, we'll start the tunnel, because it sounds nice, and we'll just accelerate. Ah, oh, we crashed. I got to 200 miles an hour though. God, that thing sounds awesome in the tunnel. We need to do that again. I want to hear this. <laughs> Held it. I think this has got a top speed restriction on it of some sort. I think Playground Games have noticed that the top speed would be insane and they've had to kind of restrict it. 100 miles an hour in verse, oh yeah. God, it's so much fun to drive. Just fast cars are just so much fun to drive. That's why I really wish they would add some fast cars like this to the game. Because, like, they're so much fun. Whoa! I love how it picks up speed even when you do this. That was incredible. Well, I know this doesn't kind of properly confirm that this is the fastest accelerating car in the game. I'm still not completely sure, but he certainly is one of the funnest cars to ride, and it is a red rocket, just like this guy. I've noticed that this guy says 7.2 seconds in a drag, so it, it can manage 7.2, which is impressive. Wow! I've just put an, I've just put a uh, rear wheel drive tune on it. It is gripping well. Look at that. That was good. I like how the car lifts up. That looks awesome. That looks wicked. Look at that. So even as a rear wheel drive car, it's loads of fun. I'm not going to attempt to drift it since I'm bad at drifting anyway. I really hope. Playground games start to add more cars like this. Not Maybe not as fast as this, maybe even faster if they want. But this is just 
It's so much fun. Why has this guy changed the rims? What a stupid thing to do. But if you've come to this video for the answers to the question, is it the new fastest car in the game? Yes and no. It seems to be a monster at drag. It has faster 0 to 100 than almost any other car. However, after that, maybe 150 to 200 miles an hour. It's not the best, but it's still definitely in the top three, I would say. So yeah boys, please leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content, let me know in the comment section below what kind of times you manage on the drag strip with this car, and I'll see you all later.